Hello, this is Howard Berger. Welcome to uh, CT Aiming. You're driving me crazy. As you can see, we're starting off with the object ball. And in CTE, the object ball is measured into three equal distances. It's 15 degrees, 30 degrees, and 45 degrees. And the object ball is facing the cue ball. Now, this is on the left side of the table. If it was on the right side of the table, the letters don't change. The letters always remain facing you as A, B, and C. But the perception can change. So you could have a 45 on the A, 30 on the B, and, and 15 on the C. It's important they understand that. And also, of course, there's a one dot on each side, which is called the one-eighth marker for deep cuts. Most of the shots that you'll see on the table are averaging, I would say, 75% of the shots are 15 and 30 degree perceptions. If it's a little of a cut, it's going to go to about 45 degree perception. And if it's a very strong cut, almost like a slice of the ball, then it goes 60 and up. So keep in mind that, again, the letters always stay the same. They don't differentiate, but the, the perception does change. So what we're going to be doing is having a series of shots where I can ex kind of explain um, kind of differences between uh, left, right, and and uh, <clears throat> and sweeps, and everything else. Now, the reason why things drive you crazy because there's so many uh, players out there, including myself. But there's only one basic foundation of CTE, which is Stanley. Now, if you look on the videos on YouTube, this guy's been playing for 10,000 hours plus. It's probably the uh, I guess the the most played person. That's five years of playing CTE. So if you really had to go back, I call it traditional CTE. That's the right way to go. Uh, there are, again, a lot of players out there. And it's sometimes everyone tells you their own little style. So it's a little bit different. What I'm doing right here on this is to show you a left sweep and a right sweep. And there is a subtle difference. In some of the videos you may have seen online, you could use the same 15 degree perception, but if you sweep differently, it can change and alter the shot. So it's important that you know that uh, the, sweep is, the sweep that you have from either left to right is different. So in other words, I'm kind of moving in. They call it a visual sweep. You could call it a pivot. It's the same thing. But your line, if you see my ring finger, is sometimes a little bit over on on the opposite so if you're coming in from this side it's not as much pronounced and this line's a little thick so you don't see it as much but the difference is, is probably a quarter of an inch difference and maybe even a half an inch which could make a big difference when you're shooting a shot so just keep that in mind and when you actually walk going into the pool room and you could just practice different sweeps from different sides and see where, where it takes you but you really have to kind of practice the different sweeps coming in a visual sweep comes right into the ball, in other words, you're going to go right in, and we're going to go with some shots where you could use the traditional visual lines, and again, they're only visual lines, uh, to kind of guesstimate where you should be at. The biggest thing in CTE is to kind of figuring out the perception of the angle of, of the shot to the pocket, whether it's a 15-degree perception or a 30 degree perception or a 45 degree perception if your perception is off you're going to miss the shot so keep that in mind as well you have to really kind of study and get an idea if it's like i said before if it's an average shot most shots are 15 and 30 degrees if it's a little bit of a cut 45 degrees if it's a lot of cut almost a slice then it's 60 degrees so here's a shot um it was a 12 ball going straight up and this is kind of like it looks like a 30 degree perception it's almost straight but there is a slight angle so when i come in on this shot i like to shoot opposite in other words i'm sweeping up from the opposite side so i'll be coming in from left to right on this shot and aiming for the b from the half tip offset on the cue ball i'm going to move my backhand i'm going to pretty much uh just go right into the shot, and there you go. This is a graphic, kind of tells you about that particular shot. If you want to practice it, you can line it up and, uh, and uh, practice this kind of a, of a shot. Now, here's a nine ball straight up into the corner, 
Now I'm lining up the cue ball to about the dot. The nine ball is on the other dot. This would be, I believe, a one eighth shot, or at least sixty percent, uh, a sixty degree uh, perception. So what you got to do is line up the cue ball at a half tip offset, aiming for the one eighth mark on the left side of that nine ball. So I'm lining up from right to left. I'm sweeping over and I'm bringing the stick right to center cue and go straight up. There's a shot, there's a graphic. Now, CTE, and this is why I'm telling you that it drives you crazy because there's visual lines and sometimes you'll hear phrases like it's a relationship to the table and, uh, and so on and so forth, the outermost, innermost lines, and it could just drive you nuts. So you really have to kind of like figure it out. These are actual lines that are traditional lines, but they're only visual lines. So if you take them away, you don't need them. Some people like to have them. It's kind of like you have to visualize those lines and then you get down to shoot. Just a little... The line on the cue ball right now, it's always going to be center cue ball to the opposite edge of the object ball where the direction of the ball is going into. So this particular case, as you can see, it's it's middle, it's middle, hitting from the middle of the cue right to the uh, opposite edge of the object ball. But you're still going to line up accordingly. So in this particular shot, you're lining up a half a tip offset on the cue ball to 15 degrees, which would be the C because you're going to line up straight ahead. Those lines never cross each other. So understand that those lines never cross. You have to have one line that's going to be uh, from the center cue ball, always going to be the center cue ball. That line is always going to be to the opposite edge of the cut. The other line is going to aim from usually from the side of the cue uh, to the, one of the letters. This is just a different graphic. You kind of get a handle on it. So what you do is when you come into the shot, you're going to come in. I'm coming in from left to right. I'm going to move over, aim for the C, move over to center cue ball, and shoot. And these are kind of basic shots. I mean, to be honest, I, I use CT a lot of times, but most times I use it, it's for hard shots. Uh, obviously, I have ghost ball. Uh, I've been playing for almost 50 years, so I'm a traditional ghost ball player. So this is kind of just a basic, easy shot. But... It's the same principle in a way. You're going to come in, you're still going to aim for the B in this case. You move your stick over to center, and you can place it right in. It's good to study some of those lines. The traditional lines is nice to have. I mean, uh, you know, it just gives you maybe a reference of where to shoot. So it's something that you really got to go on the table and look at. And uh, unfortunately, sometimes on these videos, you just don't get a handle on it at that much. And that's why there's so much uh, back and forth on CTE. There must be over 100 videos out there on CTE, and yet there's so much controversy. So it shouldn't be that way. Uh, it should be kind of cut and dry. So I'm just moving it over a little, but I'm showing you the center, uh, where you have to hit center, and then you just move over. So it's basically a morph, a morph set, half, half tip, some people say it's a tip. I think it's a half, but you could you could debate that all day long. Um, now here's a shot. Now don't forget when you're in a 15 or 30 degree setup, there's two lines, two visual lines. When you're in in this case, it's a one eighth. Looks like a one eighth shot. It's an over 60 degree cut. It's only a one line visual. When you're in a 45 degree hit, it's a one line visual. So this is a traditional line. It's coming from the uh, right edge of the uh, cue to the one eighth marker on the eighth ball. So when you aim, you're going to come down on the right side of that cue ball. To me, it's it's a half tip offset. I'm coming in from left to right because the thin cut. I'm I'm going to be aiming at the one eighth marker, and you can see it here a little bit better. So I'm coming in. I'm going to be aiming at the one eighth marker on the eight. And just push it right in. See the see the left see right to left. Next shot, there's a graphic for you to look at if you want to check it out.
Now here's a very similar shot, almost identical shot, just a different ball. But you can see again, uh, I'm coming in from from right to left. I like fit, I like to shoot opposite cut. So I'm going to still line up a half a tip offset from the cue, right to the one eighth marker where I'm pointing at right now, and putting it away. There you go. So there you are. You have that uh, shot. That's done. And here's the, here's the other two lines again. And this goes to, sh to show you that this is a visual lines, only visual lines. The uh, line in the center cue ball is going from, um, from the center of the cue ball to the opposite edge of the object ball. The other line is coming from the edge of the object, uh, edge of the cue ball. And it's supposed to be pointing to C, so it might be a little off, but it's basically going to C. Now, when you still line up the shot, you're still going to come in at a half tip offset and going from right to left. So you're aiming at C, moving it over, and then shoot. Again, this is such a basic shot that, you know, you probably don't need that much in CT, but if you want to learn it this way, it's good practice just to try and, and uh, look at the shot and, and how you would pivot in to get the shot. Now you always can pivot in from left to right or right to left and the shots is not that different. But when you do uh, other shots, they do make a difference. So keep that in mind. The best thing to do when you get on the table is to try different pivots from different sides and uh, and see which, which is best for you. Don't forget, uh, if I'm right-handed, I'm left eye dominant. So if you're if you're left-handed and you're and you're right-eye dominant, it's going to be different. Uh, so that's why it's uh, it's a little tough sometimes universally to make these things work. Here's a uh, one-line visual. Um, it's it's hard to tell from this video, but it basically looks like a one-eighth. Uh, so you got a one-line visual coming in from the right side of the cue, hitting the one-eighth marker on the object ball. And then you could just shoot right in. Now, this just remind yourself: this is a visual line, not the real line, because you're gonna be coming in from the half tip, not from the edge. So when you line this up, uh, some people just move right into the shots. You know, there's different pivots. There's another graphic of it. Um, you're just lining up. You're coming in automatically. You take that line out of there. So you kind of set up still when you come in. So they're coming in on a half tip and then moving my stick over from the back end. There you go. Very similar kind of shots. I did these shots mostly just to show you the traditional lines, the visual lines, and then to show you without the traditional lines. Um, you know, whether you need those lines, I don't know. Maybe, you know, it's, according to, like I said, traditional CT, uh, these are things you really have to look at and kind of comprehend uh, we really have to aim uh, whether it's necessary who really knows everybody's going to tell you different uh, so you have to really just do, do your own adjustment and see if uh, it's something that's important to you so what I'm doing is just lining it up this is this is very similar all these shots are basically the same it's usually going to be a, um, a one-eighth marker type of shot could be even uh, an A so if it was a less cut slightly less cut it would be probably uh, hitting uh, towards the uh, A point when you do uh, CT on paper it doesn't come out as well as when you're on the table so um, when you show it it's different uh, this is just a, a standard uh, straight-up shot and well you say I don't need a straight-up shot to uh, you know basically do the CTE method but it's still good to use. So uh, even on a straight shot, I would still aim for the A, pivot over. You could aim for B sometimes and pivot over. And it just gives you a little bit more accuracy, I believe. Um, there's uh, just, again, it's just a style. If you get used to it, it's great. Here's a shot that uh, is going to the right corner. So it looks like a really deep cut. Uh, the balls are lined up uh, almost parallel just a little bit, a couple inches from the uh, dot. So I'm going to be aiming from left to right, swimming left to right, coming in on the 1 8th marker 
on the object ball. There's the graphic. Anyway, I uh, hope you liked the video, and if you do, uh, please give me a comment. And we'll see you on the next one, um, and see where it goes from there. Take care, and Merry Christmas.